so this is our pump panel. Uh, you got a lot of gauges, you got a lot of um, buttons and switches and lights on here. So this is uh, how you get water from the tank to any of the various uh, discharges or intakes on the fire engine. So we have uh, discharges for the top, the back, the front, all over the place we have hose on this fire engine. Moving further up, this is the back door for the cab. And up inside the, up inside the cab is where uh, the crew sits when we go out on a fire call. So as you can see, there are a lot of different seats in here. And some of them are filled, have air packs in the back and some of them do not. We like to keep the air pack in the back so that when you're sitting, you can easily grab onto it and uh, throw it over your shoulders like a backpack. Also, we have some tools in here, like uh, our hooks. We have another ax and another halogen bar. And uh, we have our radios. So the people in the, in the crew in the back has a radio so that we can talk to each other when we're operating on an incident. We have gloves and we have flashlights and we have things underneath. We have headsets that look like this so that when we're going down the road and the sirens blaring and it's very loud, you can hear each other over the headset. Going around to the officer's side, this is where the officer sits. He has his own seat here with a map book holder and a light and uh, various different things, traffic vests, the radio. Now the officer is in charge of the crew, so he calls all the shots. He's the one who talks on the radio to dispatch. And uh, during a call, this is his piece. Moving to the front. We have the siren right there in the front, some lights, and our bumper discharge. So here we have a short section of hose with a nozzle on it so that if we get a car fire or a trash fire, we can easily pull that out and extinguish the fire rather than pulling a longer section of hose off. Coming over to the driver's seat. This is where the driver sits. He has, you know, all the different controls, all the gauges that you would find in a normal car. They're just a lot bigger and for, for a bigger uh, piece of equipment. 